Discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hello, my name is Will Rust. I am the CEO and founder of Seraxis Inc. And we are a biotechnology and the um, Germantown Innovation Center focused on uh, developing a cell therapy to treat diabetes. Diabetes in total is becoming uh, an epidemic. Uh, one in 10 Americans is diabetic and many more are pre-diabetic. Uh, of those diabetics, a uh, full 10% of them are what we call type 1 diabetics. And these are patients that uh, are totally dependent on insulin to manage their blood glucose levels. And this typically affects uh, children uh, when they're quite young. Uh, however, many of the type 2 diabetics uh, are also dependent upon insulin and share many of the same uh, features of disease as a type 1 diabetic. So there is actually a large number of uh, insulin-dependent diabetics um, that would very much benefit from a cell therapy. Type 1 diabetes is a leading cause of uh, limb amputation due to lack of circulation. It is a leading cause of blindness, of kidney failure, liver failure, cardiovascular problems, neurological uh, problems. Um, this disease uh, on average removes more than 10 years uh, of lifespan. So it is not a disease with an effective therapy or cure and these patients are in dire need of an effective, uh, an effective cure. So it is a, a truly devastating, uh, truly devastating disease. However, uh, like other conditions where a solid organ no longer functions, the disease can be cured by an organ transplant. And the, this is exactly true in uh, type one diabetes. A pancreas transplant is curative for this disease. But even better, the entire organ doesn't need to be transplanted. Only the small clusters of cells that are responsible for secreting insulin, called the islets, can be transplanted to cure this disease. So, because of that, the race is on. The race is on to find a supply of islets that does not come from organ donation, so that all of the patients who need this therapy can have it. And secondly, to be able to do this without giving the patient immune suppression. Now, Sthoraxis is one of the groups in that race, and we are technically leading that race. Uh, our islets are, are functional, they are curative, and we have developed a unique method of causing them to be implanted and accepted by the host without the use of immune suppression. So our goal is to demonstrate that this strategy and our product is curative for human patients. And to do that, we need to launch our first clinical trial. Uh, we are preparing for that clinical trial uh, as, uh, as quickly as we can. We need to demonstrate that patients uh, benefit from having this implant, that a patient that formerly needed insulin injections about uh, five times a day can walk out of the clinic a, a person who is totally independent of any insulin, who is completely normal in their regulation of blood glucose. The generation of organs for transplant in a lab is a very novel form of human medicine. And uh, what that means in a practical sense is that there is very little existing support uh, for doing this type of work. And so we uh, have had to search hard, long and uh, far uh, to find that support. And uh, we were lucky enough to get support locally here from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund, which is uh, developed to fund exactly this type of research. Uh, they have supported us and uh, we are very grateful for that support. In five years, we should be near the end of our clinical testing and uh, really ramping up our ability to commercialize this uh, product for patients that are in need. That's our, that's our overarching goal. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.